Dear friends, hi. Today I had a very unusual case. It is a male patient, a 63 year old, who presented with lower abdominal pain. Nothing else was mentioned in the clinical information and uh, the clinician was suspected left inguinal hernia, incarcerated hernia. As you can see, there is uh, a left-sided inguinal hernia, which contains only fat. There is no other complication, no bowel involvement or something else. But however, what we can see here is this lesion in the penis. So let's have a look, because uh, this is a very rare case. Okay, this is in a transverse plane. I will show you in sagittal and coronal views as well. Here is the lesion. Here is the penis. And here is the lesion in sagittal views. And in coronal views, I'm scrolling the images up and down so you will make your impressions and then I will describe uh, the findings. So here is the lesion, it is of low density, it has irregular contour. Let's go back in the transverse plane. The lesion is uh, amorphous. There is no uh, something uh, specific regarding the, the shape. It has irregular contour, low densities centrally. around 4, 5, maximum 9 HU. Probably there is a fluid content and a cystic component centrally involving the cavernous bodies either side, the cavernous bodies of the penis and probably of the urethra partially. There are some lymph nodes bilaterally in the inguinal regions, however, they are not so uh, enlarged. These structures here in the pelvis probably represent uh, diverticula in the urinary bladder. Now, let's go back uh, to the uh, penile lesion. Uh, given the appearances, particularly the amorphous shape and the irregular contour of the lesion and uh, the high possibility of uh, infiltrative nature of this lesion, if you agree, uh, this lesion is highly suspicious of uh, a carcinoma, a malignancy generally, and uh, I made a research in the literature, and uh, it is very rarely to find uh, a lesion, a malignant lesion with so low densities, like in this case. Uh, According to the literature, only one case of muxinus uh, carcinoma of the penis has ever been reported in the literature. I'm not absolutely sure, I don't uh, have any other clinical information and uh, I don't hope that I will have any, any feedback from the patient, but uh, this scenario 
could be included in the differential diagnosis. This presentation is uh, just for uh, reference and uh, just for your information there is no confirmed diagnosis it's very interesting because it's very rare and uh, any comments would be much appreciated in sagittal views we can see some uh, uh, stranding in the adjacent fat tissue here some reactive changes, inflammatory changes here and the lesion is inseparable from the penis it is quite large it's approximately 11 by 5 centimeter dear friends uh, any comment will be welcome uh, thank you for watching this uh, very rare and interesting case see you again soon